Virgo placements. The Death card. Eight of Swords. The Emperor. Justice. Damn, you have three major arcana in your energy. Change that is inevitable, but it's not the type of change that you are willing to accept. This is something that you are trying to resist. It feels like it's pointing you to a direction you want to, you don't want to be facing. It's like, that is the only road ahead. But you're like, nope, no, nope, not going there. Not going there. And you're trying to look around for another path or for another road to take. But you subconsciously know that that is something that you have to go through. So there is denial here. There is this sense of wanting to take control of the situation, even though it is bigger than you, possibly more powerful than you. What is this? What is this path? devil you are trying to resist being someone that wow it's almost like you are feeling like you are forced into the dark path you are resisting the temptation to turn dark or to go into a dark frenzy, I want to say. I don't know what that means exactly. I see that you have a lot of negative things going on in your life, whether this is negative occurrences or negative energy that you are surrounded with. Or negative full stop, it could be something that... has occurred in your life and you're trying to resist not falling for it. But you know what's interesting is that you think that you have to. There's no way out. Slipping into the dark is what I'm hearing. There is the sun. Slipping into the dark, but there is a way. I mean, of course, there is always a way. I always say there is always a way. But I feel like you are really being tested, Virgo. Really being tested. And you're trying to resist turning dark, if that makes sense. You're trying your best. But you also feel or think, or maybe on a subconscious level, you, you think that that's where you're supposed to go. Not with the sun here. The sun is to indicate that, no, 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 there is a way. You just don't see it yet. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. What is this way? What's the alternative? Healing. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> the star. Healing. Whatever that puts you in this negative state, it needs healing. Um, this reminds me, you know, whenever you feel sick, why do you feel sick? It's because your body is trying to tell you that we are fighting the good fight. We are trying to heal you from a disease. So 
whatever you feel, you know, when you feel nauseous or when you feel uh, congested or when you feel like you're going to die because of high fever or whatever else. It's your body trying to resist or trying to heal from the, the virus or the, the bacteria that have entered your system. And so what you are experiencing here, it feels like a disease. You are feeling the side effects, the symptoms, I should say, of that disease. But your perception of it is, is almost the opposite of what's meant to be understood. What I mean by that, your hardships are viewed as a way to force you into the dark, but it's actually for you to persevere and build the strength to overcome the dark. The same way your body fights to overcome the disease. I hope that analogy makes sense. Because your body is not working against you. Your body is not like, oh, I'm gonna make this person sick and nauseous and congested because they are sick. No, it's fighting. It's fighting that disease. It's not fighting you, it's trying to heal you. And so this is what you need to understand from the hardships that you're going through. This is a very important pivoting moment for you. But instead of seeing it, for what it is, you could be interpreting it that it's it's going to drag you to uh, a hell hole. It's not. It's trying to strengthen you. It's trying to um, heal you. Whenever pain and negativity uh, gets surfaced in your life, or whenever you have bad situations surfacing in your life. It means that there is something that is wrong in your energy that needs healing. It doesn't mean, oh, I'm going to beat the Virgo up. <clears throat> healing. How would you know you have something to heal if you are perfectly fine? You wouldn't. The only way that your body can get your attention that something is wrong is by signaling you that something is wrong by showing you that your body is not doing well. The same way energetically. You are going through negative energy to tell you that there is something wrong in your energy that needs healing, that needs attention. And instead of, say, instead of getting that as a sign to heal, you're getting that sign as a, oh, I should turn dark. You see what I mean? Uh, as if your body is ill and you're like, oh, I should just give in. I should just, uh, you know, dig a hole and die in it. It feels like that. So it doesn't have to be all doom and gloom. The doom and gloom that you're going through is an indication and a signal for attention. This is how your body signals you into more care and rest. Same way with energy. This is signaling you to be strong and persevere. Because this is not to break you, but to make you stronger. And to help you notice the things that you need to heal. Okay, this is about healing. This is not just about resting your body. No, this is about healing. And the healing is not like your body getting ill because your body takes care of that. The energy, it's you that you need to take care of. So you are basically the um, immune system when it comes to energy. Because you are responsible for your spirit. No one else, okay? No one else is responsible for your spirit. You are. So this is basically trying to signal you into attention to healing. So, interesting. Okay, yeah, it's up to you, baby. We have the magician here. The magician is all about you being in control. 
no one else. You have everything that you need in order to get yourself out of the negative side of things. Now, I feel like whenever th things happen in the physical that indicate that, you know, things are going bad, it's, it's not easy to uh, kind of take responsibility for what's happening for, to you, okay? But it's your responsibility to look at it differently change your perspective about what you are experiencing. Instead of saying that this is this is happening to me, say it's happening for me, so that I become stronger, more resilient. Instead of saying you are the victim, or instead of saying it is what it is, take control of your life. Because when you take care or take control, care is important here as well. When you take care of yourself, take control of yourself, everything else changes around you. So you don't have to take control of the things around you. All you have to do is take control of yourself. How you feel about things, how you interpret things. Because if you do, then everything else that is outside of you will shift accordingly. Change your perspective. But I do see that healing is needed as well. Okay, otherwise this negative energy will resurface in your life again and again. But a change of perspective can help you heal without mm, much resistance, without feeling bad as you do. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see the prominent energy of the people surrounding you, Virgo. The prominent energy. We have the Eight of Wands. Four of Wands. The Empress. Interesting. You had the Emperor in your position, same as the position of the Empress here. Hmm. And the Six of Cups, yeah, this is a soulmate. Indeed, we have the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is a soulmate, Virgo. Ah. Oof. This is a soulmate. I see things going, I see things going to the next level with this person. I see things going to the next level with this person. So there, there will be communication where it will help this connection to go to the next level. I do think this is a romantic situation. Let me see. Yeah. There is no confusion in this person's energy about you. So what they want here is to go to the next level. Whether it's going to happen or not, I feel like it should happen. But... How do I feel like there is a but? But... It needs to be spoke. It, it, it needs to be spoken? It needs to be said. Okay. So I do see communication, and if this communication happens, things will go to the next level with this person. Now, I do want to see what will be said, and we'll take that to the extended. Let's see. Mm -hmm. We have a chariot, a six of wands, and a bunch of cards came out. Let me see. Chariot, six of wands, the fool, eight of pentacles, the hierophant, Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. Hot oh, damn. We have a power couple here. We'll talk about what will be said in this communication in the extended. The link will be in the description box. I will see you there.